Not too long ago, I went to the 2017 Mothman Festival, and I bought some stuff from the vendors. One of the things I got is this sculpture of the Flatwoods Monster of West Virginia folklore. From the same vendor, I got this Mothman art. As you can see, the board that it's on has painted newspapers from Point Pleasant in 1966. This one right here from the Athens Messenger is one of the earlier ones, and it's the one that features the photo. And here you can see Mary Mallet and Roger Scarberry. Here's where Linda would be, and Steve would be over there. Here you can see another press clipping. It says, four more claims seeing big red-eyed bird. Then at the very bottom here, it has my favorite number, 13. The Mothman sightings in Point Pleasant were, of course, 13 months. It's also a favored number in the Mothman mythology. So the art here has the proper head shape, or lack thereof. Uh, the coloring is more of a silhouette. You can see some purple in there uh, for shading. The lack of arms is accurate to the witness's description. The legs do appear to be humanoid legs, as the witnesses described. Linda Scarberry, as well as her mother, Mabel McDaniel, both described muscular men's legs. So that would be accurate here. So this art's sort of like a plaque, and here on the back there's actually a place to hang it. I got this Mothman Ghostbusters pin, as well as this Mothman Squadron patch. This is the previous design, which I got last year, and this is the new design. I would say that the wings are more accurate here because they're feathered instead of more like bat wings, and also the legs go down longer to be more like human legs. Next I got a new Mothman Tunes. This is issue number four. I already have issue one through three, so I got this one. I got a coloring book of Myths and Monsters from Appalachia. I like the phonetic spelling there. So we have some pretty cool art here. There's the Flatwoods Monster. And there's Mothman. They had a ton of these drawings for sale individually, so I figured I'd just buy the book and have them all in one place. Monsters of West Virginia. This is a book I already had, but I got it signed by Rosemary Langali. I also got some books by local author George Dudding. Here we have A Tale of the Mason County Mothman, The Flatwoods Monster, and the Silver Bridge Tragedy. At this year's Mothman Festival, he did a presentation on the Silver Bridge. Moving on to art, we have this one. It's Mothman done in a very 1930s, 40s cartoon style. Kind of like Mickey Mouse. M.M. Mickey Mouse. Mothman. It's very cartoonish, and it's got the right gray color. It unfortunately has arms, but it does have feathers like Marcella Bennett and so many other witnesses described. In the same sort of style, we have this one. The Man, the Moth, the Legend. Down there it says Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Here we have some art by Andy Finkel. I use this as my profile image. I like that it's Mothman in flight with the gray coloring and the lack of arms. It's the right kind of shape I'm looking for, so it's perfect. I got this cool gel paperweight with the map on the bottom. So it has Point Pleasant, and there's Route 62. That's the route the Scarberry Mallets claim the Mothman chased them down. And there's the TNT area, and if you look real close there, there's the silhouette of the Mothman. Lastly, we have some posters. This poster is entitled Mothman Illusion. Here's some other posters. This one is a Flatwoods Monster 1 poster. Flatwoods Monster, last known location, Braxton County, West Virginia. Here we have a Mothman band poster. Mothman, Omen of Doom tour, hopefully not coming to a town near you. It's cool if there's a Mothman band poster because the Mothman Museum was originally Jeff Walmsley's record store. He would sell Mothman t-shirts and people would come in and ask him questions about the Mothman. Museum creator Jeff Walmsley was very into rock and metal music. There's also been a rock song written about Mothman. So I would say that if Mothman listened to music, that would probably be his style. Here's some more art I got. A very interestingly shaped Mothman in the woods there. And then here we have the Flatwoods Monster. Now we've got three more posters by the same artist, signed here. This one has Mothman walking forward, it's got some nice colors to it. I like the way the wings look. Here once again we have Mothman perched on a building, the moon in the background, signed here. Mothman looks very comic book-esque. And here we have the Flatwoods Monster, looking very much like an android or a robot. So these are the things I got at the 2017 Mothman Festival. It was a great festival this year. Tons of cool vendors, making what I would consider West Virginia folk art. Thanks for watching.